Charles from the Detroit Children's Museum, also known as Mr. C. And today we have a fable to share with you, uh, as retold by Phoebe Franklin called The Blind Men and the Elephant. Do you know what a fable is? A fable is a story that you learn a lesson from. Okay, it's something you learn from. It's like a moral of the story or a lesson that we learn by reading the story. This fable, The Blind Men and the Elephant, happens to be from India. There are many versions of this story, and each of those versions teach a different lesson. I wonder which lesson we'll learn by reading this story today, okay? Before we begin, though, I have a great activity, a fantastic activity that will help refine your skills in visualizing things, okay? If you didn't have the ability to see something directly, how do you figure out what it is? So what we have here are two bags. You can use as many bags as you want per child, for example, or per group of children, if you want to do it that way. And I have some household items. I have some dye, or dice, I should say. We have some post-it notes, some chalk, some sticks, just the various types of items. And you put them in each of the bags. Okay, I even have sponge letters. Whatever you find, maybe a refrigerator magnet, something like that, right? And you put them in the bags, and then you have each child, without looking into the bag, reach in and feel. Use their sense of touch. You know, what is the texture, the feel of those items, objects? And try to identify them. And then have the, each one share what they think the items are. Then, of course, right, you would dump the items out carefully and see how they did. You know, were they able to identify the sponge letter, especially A? The other one's a W, so there's a difference there. Were they able to identify this as a piece of chalk? Using just their visualization skills, being able to think about what they're feeling. You could listen to the sound of the, if you think there's an item that makes a sound, that type of thing, so to bring in the auditory, and then go from there. It's a great activity. It's simple things you can do at home, at school, or anywhere, basically. As a nice activity, as a pre activity to reading this story. The Blind Men and the Elephant, a fable from India, as retold by Phoebe Franklin, illustrated by Coco Mazuda. Imagine you were touching each part of the elephant. What would it feel like? In a faraway village lived six blind men. One day, an elephant arrived in town. Everyone within miles ran to catch a glimpse of the great creature. The blind men didn't know what an elephant was, but they wanted to join in on the excitement. The first blind man approached the elephant. I will find out what an elephant is, he told his companions. He felt the elephant's side. It felt broad and flat and smooth, just like a wall. Aha, he said, an elephant is a wall. A wall, marveled the others, pleased at how now they understood an elephant. Why did the blind man think that the elephant was a wall? That can't be true, said the second blind man. Why would a wall come to town? Let me try. He approached the elephant and grabbed hold of its tusk. It was long and thin and hard to the touch, just like a stick. I am sorry to disagree, he said, but it is clear to me an elephant is not a wall. It is a stick. Naturally, said the others. They were pleased that they now truly knew what an elephant was. But I say an elephant is a wall, insisted the first man. And I know it to be a stick, declared the second. Why do the first two blind men disagree? The third blind man stepped up. How can an elephant be a wall and a stick? He asked. He approached the elephant and felt its trunk. It squirmed and twisted just like a snake. Are you ready to hear what an elephant really is? He asked. It is a snake. A snake, marveled the rest. They were pleased that they now truly knew what an elephant was. But I say it is a wall, insisted the first man. I knew it to be a stick, declared the second. 
The blind men who had not yet touched the elephant marveled at the idea that an elephant was actually a snake. What do you think marveled means? I don't mean to upset anyone, said the fourth blind man, but an elephant is clearly something more important than any of those things. He approached the elephant and felt its leg. It was rough and wrinkly. He put his arms around it, and it was thick and round, just like a tree trunk. Aha, he announced. It is obvious to me that an elephant is actually a tree. A tree, muttered the two remaining blind men. Perhaps, but they were less sure than ever before. I say it is a wall, insisted the first man. I know it to be a stick, declared the second. I am certain it is a snake, exclaimed the third. I am convinced it is a tree, argued the fourth. Why are the two remaining blind men not convinced that an elephant is a tree? Let us stop this bickering, the fifth blind man said. Permit me to find out once and for all what an elephant really is. He approached the elephant and felt its ear. It had folds and flapped in the wind, just like a fan. The mystery is solved, he announced. An elephant is really a fan. A fan, said the remaining blind man. I wonder. I say there's a wall, insisted the first man. I know it to be a stick, declared the second. I am certain it is a snake, exclaimed the third. I am convinced it is a tree, argued the fourth. It is without question a fan, pronounced the fifth. How is the elephant's ear like a fan? Stop, shouted the sixth blind man. Let me end this confusion for now and always. He approached the elephant and felt its tail. It was long and thin, and it swayed back and forth just like a rope. All right, said the sixth blind man, we have our answer. An elephant is without a doubt a rope. There was no one left to agree. I believe it is a wall, insisted the first. I knew it to be a stick, declared the second. I am certain it is a snake, exclaimed the third. I am convinced it is a tree, argued the fourth. It is without question a fan, pronounced the fifth. I am sure it is a rope, added the sixth. Why do each of the blind men believe the elephant to be something different? Friends, said the first blind man, how can one thing seem so different? If you want to truly know something, you must try to understand all of its parts. On that we all can agree, replied the others. With that in mind, the men investigated the whole animal. They finally gained a true understanding of an elephant. What is the lesson in this story? Please share with your friends and family. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story, a fable from India entitled The Blind Men and the Elephant.